Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura, and today will be I will be taking you through real numbers and for form ones or grade eight. So today I'm going to work on real numbers, and I'll be using this textbook new edition new general mathematics one a junior certificate course by jb channel a maclish hc had mf macri so i'll go to a subheading number basis and we'll be working with number bases based on everyday life that's the legs of seven sixty twenty four and um we're going to do the examples so the first example is say find the total find the total of one week i'll just shorten the week to duplicate one week five days one week five days six days and three weeks three weeks four days mm -hmm. Okay, so the commas and the ends are separating our variables and, and uh, the answer is required in weeks and days, then in days. Part A is requiring weeks and days, part B is requiring days only. Okay, so we're going to say weeks, so our solution would be our solution would be weeks we write weeks here we write days here so we separate them so since we have find the total of one week and five days we are going to say one week and five days and we also have six days meaning to here we've got zero weeks just don't put the zero and six days here and the other one is three weeks three weeks four days that's three weeks and four days and ha in it says find the total so meaning total means add you are going to add it okay so our work is going to be like this so since we are working it in days we're going to say five plus six that's 11 plus 4, that's uh, 15, right? Is it 15? Okay. I'm used to using a calculator, so please uh, don't really mind much as long as we do the right thing. So that's 15. But since we are working in days, since we obtained 15 days, we actually know that one week is equals to seven days. So adding the total of the days, five plus six plus four, we get 15. And knowing that one week equals to seven days, we divide 15, we divide 15 by we divide 15 by 7 to obtain the number of weeks that are there in the 15 days. Okay, so I'm going to say 15, 15 days over 7 days. And that gives me 2 weeks, 2 weeks and the 1 day. One day, meaning that I'm going to place the one day here 
add the um, header with seven days and i'm going to place two weeks where we have weeks also right mm, so that will be one here then we carry our two uh, and we add three plus one plus two that's six that's six right mm -hmm. so we obtain uh six weeks and one day for this example if you've got any questions just comment just comment just comment um moving on i think this one is really simple uh uh, they asked us in part a they asked us to find the number of weeks and days in part b so this was part a right part b requires us to part b requires us to find the number of days this part Part B requires us to find, so it's this part, right? The number in days. So we are going to say we obtained six weeks and one day, right? And also, we know that one week is equals to seven days. One week is equals to seven days. Therefore, what about six weeks? Right? So six over one times seven, and we obtain forty-two days plus the one day that we already have, plus one. So that's giving us forty-three days. Also, the sum is applied when we are working mass sums of differences. We are working sums with differences or sums with totals the same applies the hours the same applies when you're working with hours 24 hours it's just the same the same applies okay let me just do another example this is example five let me explain to you example five i find the difference between six days three hours and two days 13 hours this is just straight our question so it reads find find the difference this is the short form for difference between find the difference between 6 days 3 hours and 2 days 13 hours and you're just going to apply the sum basis we using on our first sum so days hours and we have three hours and two days uh, we have six days and three hours here six days three hours so we just write where the um, we just write each part uh, in line with each part like days days hours hours and our two days we just place it here in 13 hours here so to subtract something like this, we all know that three minus thirteen it can't. Oh, okay. Since there's still form ones, it actually can't. Okay, but it just can't, right? <laughs> okay, so three minus thirteen it can't. So and since we are working in hours and we know that a day we borrow a day from this this side, right? And if we borrow a day from here, we get a day has got how many hours? That's 24, right? So if a day has got 24 hours, we will have to add the 24 hours plus the original hours that we had, right? And this would give us uh, 24 plus 30, that would give us 27, right? And we then subtract 27 minus 18, right? It now makes sense, right? Then we get 14. And since we borrowed a day here, meaning we subtracted a day from the days, right? 
So meaning to these two, there's cannot remain two. I know from your uh, primary level, you did this. So this cannot remain two. So you're going to add and it will become three. I should have added one, but since I've re already written, it's now three. So you're saying six minus three, that's giving me three. Meaning I will be left with three hours and 14 days. Right. Okay, so that's all this day. When you're working with seconds, you just work with 60 seconds, a minute. When you're working with minutes, you just work with minutes, uh, 60 minutes. When you're working with um, hours or anything, you just use the same basis. Just know if you're seeing seconds, then you're using minutes and seconds. You're using the basic 60 seconds. If you are using hours, it's just the same thing.